Hey, hey, my people, what did y'all say the problem is again? What did y'all Edoche say his problem is? I don't want to just give you the whole gist of the whole story. Okay, let me just give you guys a small gist. Y'all Edoche, you know, gave side hand Bele, you know? And now, because um, Gist Lover, a popular vlog, blog on Instagram, came up and said, and just put out his picture, I guess he was trying to protect himself. Y'all now came and now put out the picture of the boy. That his that's his son and said that this is his son from his second wife Judy and since then the internet has been shaking the internet has been shaking my people the internet has been shaking non-stop about you and I think he's I don't want to think he's enjoying it because what's that let's assume he's enjoying it you know when he posted his second wife his first wife and said oh, number one undisputed and now came up and talked about yesterday and said that see how we shook the internet and over 60k of us you know youtube instagram news channels talking about yo that that is how we can come together and help him to contest for presidency that we can come together that the whole that talking about him didn't have a race or tribe or you know religion y'all should say we should buy him form Yo, people have not eaten in Nigeria, you should come out of Germany and buy it. If you want to buy form for presidency, buy it yourself. We are not buying you any form. When he made the video yesterday about the whole form thing, people were beginning to insinuate that it could have been a prank. I'm like, eh, this is why Nigerians know how to vote for bad leaders because you used to forget too easily. How can you even think that that whole thing was a prank? I did not think for one second that y'all was pranking us. I could have probably thought that maybe he did not marry the girl. Maybe he's trying to, um, you know, sweet talk her and say um, second wife. But for that child, that child now you're born now. I don't have um, equipment so for DNA testing, you know, but my eyes can see the resemblance. Um, it is striking as striking can be. And so, someone like me that doesn't know who somebody looks like, if I tell you that somebody looks like somebody, he look like the person. That picking now you're getter. And I don't even know why people are trying to say it's a prank because I watched the video and Ogayo did not even debunk the rumor. He did not deny what he said in his first post claiming the child and claiming um, that the woman was his wife, that he had a second wife. He did not deny it. So why are you guys even helping him deny it and say that he, he probably is a prank? It is not a prank. It, he did not in any way insinuate that it was a prank. What he's just trying to do right now is like, okay, I have publicity right now. People on my channel, people that don't know about me right now are trying to Google who is your Ledoche and all that stuff. So he's trying to jump on this popularity that he has gained to sell his presidential aspiration or ambition. Guys, and I'm just thinking, now who they advise you? Whoever is advising him is doing a terrible job and him that's taking the advice is doing a terrible job receiving that kind of advice because now you think that it's a joke. You cannot be wanting to be president and you're pranking us. Our lives right now as Nigerians is looking like a prank because the hardship and everything that is going on is like somebody is pranking us and we're just waiting for April Fool, wake up, it's, it's all been a whole joke. And you're coming with another prank? We don't want pranks, we want reality that is sweet right now in Nigeria. So if you're coming with prank to come and sell your ambition, it's not going to work. Secondly, it's not even a prank, so um, this is how you got popularity. This is not about perfection or anything. We cannot um, gain popularity based on something bad and expect that we jump on it and, you know, con congratulate you and give you the, buy you the form. That's if we don't have the money to buy you the form. Somebody said in his comment section, because he said he was going to post the video by 10 a.m. And he posted by, I think, past two. Somebody said, you cannot even post at the 10 a.m. that you talked about. How are we going to be sure that you posted two hours late? That's how you're going to be late. <laughs> That's how you are. We cannot trust you for this presidency stuff. See? y'all does not even understand that this thing he's doing is i don't know if i would say it is killing the small faith we had in okay whether should we give you all this thing right now i'm just like oh, oh god gonna fix your home this cannot be a joke assuming that this happened this happened really not assuming this has happened you have a new baby you have a new wife and now you're online talking about this like a joke i feel like even if you feel that you don't have regard for your wife because that's what it is the way he announced it online considering that the wife said she didn't know until the day after the wedding that's the highest form of disrespect like it's even the highest that's another form of disrespect because she has been disrespecting her and now has added another layer to the disrespect so now even if you don't care about your wife your children do you know the first daughter is in the university so i'm sure that she's a teenager and everything i'm just thinking of i know how teenagers can be 
can be very emotional and all that so now adding this embarrassment the level of pain and hurt that these children are going to feel like now everybody knows about them she's going to be talked about in school and now she's going to be embarrassed like i feel like as he's talking about this and laughing about it online his daughter is very present on instagram i know she has an account on instagram you don't realize that this is getting to her i don't know what they've talked about in the house even if you sat her down at home and explained to her it cannot be enough that you explain to her what is going on if you don't act right in public so his father embarrassing an already embarrassed child i'm not talking about the girl because she's the most grown up and i know that even the second and third considering how wise kids are these days they are all going through almost the same thing so you think that it's all fun and games you're hurting your children because of presidency i feel like it's a case of almost semi desperation right now because it's desperation that can make you you know if he was taking right advice i would have even advised him to shift his presidential aspiration from this whole thing that happened allow it to cool down then you come up with the presidency stuff then we talk about it and we don't you know break our heads about it anymore now people are telling him we stand with you they will stand with you and mock you in the house even if you wanted to be president this is not the time to come and add the whole presidential aspiration to the mess that you have created i know that was saying don't talk about the sun and everything but for me i just I, I feel like the the new child is not really affected so much right now because he doesn't know what's going on it's more like his mother and whatever is affecting the mother i don't feel for her because Emma, you saw somebody's husband happily married four whole children 17 years and you took your two left legs and you walked into it baby girl judy whatever you see take it my hand not did anything that in the social media throw at you because guys i'm not the person that's going to be insultive or anything but um the kind of insults she has received i saw, i was unhappy and i'm like oh my gosh like the kind of insults she has received i can't even feel bad for her i cannot even feel bad for her because you know the pain that you have helped have aided your inflict on his children inflict on his wife it is <laughs> we cannot be talking about it i just came out to say in this video that this is not a prank this whole your thing has not been a prank it has been real as real can be it is no Frank. I hope that you enjoyed this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to our channel Let me know the kind of gist that you want to hear on this channel and I'm gonna bring it to you guys Like with a band I'm gonna be coming at you guys because on this channel we're gonna be doing I'm gonna be sharing my opinions about um trending topics, you know about gist not even even things that are not really trending I'm just really here to share my opinions and just like talk to you guys about a lot of things that are happening. I'm gonna see you in my next video. Bye <laughs>